Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Prashant. I am also uh, I have passed out from Nanaris Medical College, and I am a I am a PG aspirant just like you guys. So now we'll talk about from 21 till 35. As I had promised, if we get 15 likes, we'll go for the next round. So here I am. So there was a question: uh, female unmarried but uh, but on OCPs and mother and sister have a history of carcinoma. I have a history of next step will be what? What will be the next step? So in this case, we have to go for the genetic counseling for Barca gene. As we know, but both both Barca one and Barca two are associated with seminal carcinoma. So she may be having the risk of that. That is why we have to do genetic counseling for Barca. Next question was difference between cell thickness skin graft and uh, full thickness graft. So in this case, um, the answer is that primary contraction is more with full thickness graft. Secondary contraction is more with split thickness skin graft. So actually, primary contraction means that immediately after, like uh, after we have done the surgery, within one to two days, the contraction that we will get is called primary contraction. And secondary contraction it means after a few months that we get that is called as a secondary contraction. So simple way to remember this is that secondary contraction will be S. So it will be split thickness skin graft. Okay. So next question, patient on tamoxifen after uh, BCS for around 5 years, when will she stop tamoxifen if she wants to conceive? So this is kind of a controversial question. Some people are saying that there is no need to stop. But um, as far as I know and the, the, like, um, uh, the, some teachers, they have told that this should be stopped uh, at least 3 months before because there is a risk of endometrial carcinoma with tamoxifen. So it should be stopped, I think. This is a better answer. So the, there were two questions in Akalajra uh, Cardia, obviously because it is an important topic and commonly asked. So investigation of choice is manometry. Manometry will be the investigation of choice. And another question was uh, what what should not be done? Among them the options was like manometry and then uh, timed, timed barium and one option was 24 hour pH monitoring. So that will be the answer. That is not required because that is usually done for gastroesophageal reflux disease and not in echolytic cardia. So next question is which disease is endemic in India? So the answer to this is Crimean Congo fever. This uh, sir had taught us very nicely that the name is Crimean Congo but it is endemic, it is present in India and the rest of the options are not endemic to India. Now which belongs to a molecule family? So this was a different question and the answer to this is urea plasma when I got this wrong the uh, urea two things come under this urea, urea plasma urea plasma and mycoplasma urea plasma and mycoplasma will come under this mycoplasma comes under the mole molecule family uh, question number 28 is image of cell wall was given with chitin and the other structures like uh, uh, arabinomanan etc so for that basically we have to select a uh, fungi and the answer to that will be the aspergillus so question number 29 is patient who had fever etc and was not relieved on antibiotics so antibiotics etc was tried but it was not relieved with that and rk39 car test is positive so this means it is leishmania so leishmania therefore we will use the drug of the choice will be the photoresin b now ratio of the b cell and t cell uh, ratio in our body is one uh, the options like one is to one one is to two but the correct answer is three to one now question number 31 is life cycle of a helmet was given and there was, uh, after it was released from the stool, there was a rhabditis from larva. So the answer to this is most probably, it is, it is strongyloidis because as we know that strongyloidis is over with, over with So immediately a larva is formed rhabditis from larva. So strongyloidis should be the answer. Then question 32, four viruses were given with different structures. Uh, they were asking genetic recombination will be seen in which. Uh, genetic recombination or reassortment will be seen in which. So basically the concept for this is that Whichever will have the segmented genome that will have a genetic recombination, just like we have in case of influenza. So that will be the answer, the one that was having the segments. Now the maple urine disease are all except all include except. So basically, this is same with branch chain amino acid, therefore valine isolation and uh, lysine, that is VIL, comes under the branch chain amino acid, so answer will be today. Now question number 34 is all are true for dislocation of hip except. So uh, the first option is vessel in the are more common in anterior dislocation. This is true because they are femoral vessels etc. on the anterior side. Now injury are more common in anterior. So this is the first statement. 
because the now we need the shadow now we need which is more common that is another push to this location i also push to this location is more common than the entry so that is the right option then uh what's fine the parts are most common in uh in so the most one for this is for the skill paradiscal uh because it's because between the two thing there is a common supply so this this entire thing when it is involved it's called the paradiscal that is the most common and the posterior uh, after paradiscal we have the and the and the posterior is the least common so paradiscal will be the answer for this thank you guys please if you like my my effort and my work then please subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notifications let's have a target for 25 likes for this video and i'll come with I'll come up with the next part thank you very much guys